Hello and welcome to the Cyber One YouTube channel. My name is Ray and in this video I have got a lot of stills here for you. Um, I started upgrading Fred's chest in preparation for a festival that was coming up in my local town known as the Inglewood Live Festival. He had a red chest plate with a blue inset with the InMove logo on him, being an InMove robot. But I noticed some cracks were starting to form in that chest plate. It was printed in PLA and over time it does get brittle. So I decided to reprint using a resin printer and I use, chose the Anycubic Tough Clear Resin which comes out quite well. Uh, I did start a video showing the top pieces that I post processed, making them clear and joining them together, and I then continued on and printed out the rest of the chest and assembled it. The next task in getting ready for the Inglewood Alive Festival was to get the robot operational. So I got all the servos calibrated, and I will cover that in a later video. Uh, then I had the problem of getting him to recognise speech. And this is where I was having a lot of difficulty. I was trying to use the display on his back with a Raspberry Pi 3 initially, but that was running out of RAM. I tried a Raspberry Pi 4 with the new bookworm operating system on it, but that didn't work very well either. Eventually I decided to use the Raspberry Pi on his head. I installed the Chromium on that. It does use a lot of resources and I got it to work. Unfortunately, he responded with a gesture, hooked his hand underneath his stool and tore his shoulder apart. This is at 8pm prior to the festival. So I spent the night getting ready and I rebuilt the shoulder as best I could. It was a patch job at best and he was operational for the start of the festival anyway. Uh, he did attract a little bit of attention and there were a lot of people to get photos with him and yeah I'll show some of the videos. We'll take a photo. Hello. Hello Fred. We'll take Had a, a good day. <laughs> he broke his shoulder before. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, look at the camera. Joycey. Can I just scare the shit out of you, Nolan? It really was amazing just the variety of age groups that were interested in Fred. That's amazing. So how long have you been working on this? His name's Fred. Frequently re-engineered device. He's all 3D printed. This uh, young pair of teens uh, got a hell of a fright when Fred responded with a hello gesture after they said hello to him, jumping back to where they're standing in this photo before settling down. Throughout the day I did have a lot of people stopping and looking, uh, both kids and even uh, young families, uh, amazing the number of older people, you know, retirees who were interested in the robot. Unfortunately the uh, shoulder didn't hold up, I did repair it a couple of times throughout the day but in the end um, he was left with it hanging towards the end of the show. Uh, the new shoulder, I am going to have to print a new shoulder for him and I'm going to do that in resin. Um, at the time of recording I've already started doing that so I'll uh, do some videos on that one as well as I assemble the new shoulder and calibrate it again. 
If you like these videos, don't forget to click on like, subscribe and ring that notification bell. It's a form of support that helps the channel a great deal and costs you absolutely nothing. If you'd like to help the channel further, I do have a Patreon account and you can join my VIPs, Go Lucky and Lorenz Berger, and my builder patron, Elmrails45, in helping the channel. I also have a Discord server, so if you have any questions, please feel free to drop into the Discord and ask your questions or leave a comment below. And we'll see you in the next video.